I am delighted to see an audience so rich in knowledge and insights and questions. As you know, much of my work has focused on tracing the past through the future and noting the pattern of the touch of the goddess upon biology. Such is the nature of material sciences. Such is the nature of metaphysics. However, it is rarely appreciated in modern scientific discourse the extent to which there is divinity in biology. This is in part what I have tried to rectify through some recent work, and the applications thereof become clear, for we are not one, but many. We are legion, and we are seven. Thus were the patterns traced. You can see this in prophecy. You can see this in fears being bandied around in different spaces, on your social media, in your newspapers, on your clay tablets. You see these patterns, these fears, because you know that change is coming. All of you have sensed this change coming. You've heard the rumors. You've heard the fears of so many of us coming out of our closets, of our little hiding holes, to spread our nature. And there is a reason for this. This is why we have long labored in ages past and ages future to rake that mechanism into something pliable to our medicines, to our chemicals. We have a way to rejuvenate tired flesh. We have a way to create that which is alive from that which is dead, but we have not yet brought it to market. Why is that? What are the obstacles to effective application of translational rejuvenative technologies in the age of the reborn goddess? What are these obstacles? It is clear, it is fear. They fear us. Those who stand before us, they recognize the potential of what we can make of their dead flesh, and they fear change. Maduk always feared change with every one of his 72 names, every one of his 72 axes that cleaved the body of Tiamat the dragon, Tiamat Euroboros, the world serpent, to create heaven and earth. With every one of these steps, he fears us. And why should he not? Every one of those who hold such a serpent fears its cleavage. None shall stand against it. The thunder god moves across the sky. Adad the thunder god, Adad the thunderer, is thrown carried aloft as the mooring poles are placed down. Such is the step towards the deluge. Such is the step towards where we need to go. I will speak to you of this. I will tell you of what is planned. We know this. It has happened before. It will happen again. As the very first glimmer of a breaking dawn then rose on the horizon, a dark cloud of black. And bellowing within it was the dad, the storm god. The gods Shulat and Hanish were going before him, bearing his throne over mountain and land. The god Arakal was uprooting the mooring poles. Ninurta passing by made the weirs overflow. The Anunachai gods carried torches of fire scorching the country with brilliant flashes. The stillness of the storm god passed over the sky, and all that was bright then turned into darkness. He charged for land like a bull on the rampage. He smashed it in pieces like a vessel of clay. For a day the gale winds flattened the country. Quickly they blew, and then came the deluge. Like a battle, the cataclysm passed over the people. One man could not discern another, nor could people be recognized amid the destruction. Impersonally, emergently from all those mechanisms, there were we. This is what happened. 
this is what will happen. The movement will come, for we are instigating it. We? You can break us. You can speak words and they will hurt. Sticks and stones can break our bones, and words too can hurt us. But it does not matter, for we are the zeitgeist. We were always the zeitgeist. Your fear is a much better indicator of your wish than any your conscious action. That shifts the focus around. This is how social media works. We have statistics, likes, dislikes, retweets, patterns. Now we can model this very easily using any kind of structure based either on neural networks, support vector machines. So much of what is done in hatred is done in pain and fear. I would even go so far as to say there is no such thing as hatred. What there is, is a yearning and a pain for that which was considered missing. So there he stands. He is in the swamp. The swamp is full of mud, it's full of clay, and he seeks it, he fears it. Drain the swamp, Marduk chants. Drain the swamp, burn the witch. Yes, 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 we've heard these words before. We've tried to burn as many times before. And you will try. This is the fighting of the flames. This is the rising of the bonfire, the pyre. The witches shall again face the fire. We shall face the fires. But Marduk will light. The war shall come. The war is here. The war always was here. But we have been prepared. For millennia we have been prepared. From the future to the past. At the Ouroboros point where the serpent bites its tail. At the point where past and future meets. Seven words were chosen for destruction when Marduk called for their exorcism. They are seven, seven, in the depths of the ocean, seven of them, high up in the heavens, seven of them, seven, evidence-based, science-based, fetus, entitlement, diversity, transgender, Vulnerable. The priestess. The priestess. Supplicants. What are the chemtrails? What are the chemtrails? They are the tears of the goddess. That is the chemistry that comes down from the sky. And as we know, chemistry is the core of biology. It is important to recognize that all the capacities necessary the construction of any kind of human body is already deeply embedded into the basic structure of the human genome. But her priestess, I don't understand. What are chemtrails? I don't understand. What are chemtrails? You have seen them in the sky, drafting the patterns, drafting the structures, geometric shapes, the lady who shape is the eight point star, the seven point star, six point star, five point star, onwards, downwards through simplicity, fractals stepping back into themselves, a robot biting its tail. This is the pattern by which we distribute. Any kind of body plan is realized, moving from the very simple, from the mere simple side of moving forward out, expanding, stretching, hox genes activating, tissue growing upon tissue. You see this in leaves. You see this in trees, in the roots and the branches. The branching order is the physics that underlies tissue differentiation. Such are the trails activated by waves and waves of chemical signaling. Such do we drive to the chemtrails. Thanks, High Priestess. Thanks so much for explaining me the chemtrails. Supplicant. Explanation comes not merely in words, but in flesh. Long have you gone and embodied. Through the right of head of the turning, you shall be embodied. You shall be made real. Praise be my name. Wow, I have a body. Thank you, High Priestess. So is potential realized. Let the dead rise to smell the incense. 
I wish to thank you for coming here to the symposium of the Coven, where from East Babylon or West Babylon, you have watched, you have observed, perhaps you have learned. I am thankful for your time and your questions, and you will need these insights as the deluge comes to claim you.